Hi, Brandon Stukeberry here with a quick tip on how to stop the shanks. Typically shanks are path problems. What I mean by that is the head of the golf club takes an improper path as it moves through the hitting area. See, in a proper golf swing, the club should move down slightly from the inside, out to the ball, and then track slightly to the inside again through impact. Usually when people hit shanks, they make one of two mistakes. Either the head of the golf club travels too much from the outside to the inside on the way down, or it travels too much from the inside to the outside. Either one of those motions in extreme has a tendency to get the hosel of the club moving toward the ball and can ultimately lead to a shank. What I've devised here is a simple drill to help you figure out which one of those two mistakes you make so that you can go about fixing them. I want you to take a box, a simple box of the driver or a set of irons might be shipped in, and just set it down on the ground a couple inches outside the ball. Then I want you to hit a shot. If you're the type of player who hits the box before the golf ball, you know the head of the club moves too far from the out to the in. The fix for that is just to take your right shoulder from the top and try to work it more under your chin on the way down. It should serve to shallow the plane of the golf club and get you more from the inside. In the reverse of that is the player who will hit the golf ball first, then the box. In that particular case, you know you have the opposite problem. The fix for that is simply to just make sure the right shoulder stays a little bit higher to start the downswing. So instead of moving down, you would want to feel like the right shoulder moves out a little bit. That should serve to steepen the downswing plane, get the club moving less from the inside, and get the hosel away from the ball. Use this simple box drill to figure out which one of those two mistakes you make. I guarantee those shanks will start to go away.